Hey guys, Popular Boat here, playing some more Hearts of Iron 4. Oh, we're racing, racing the Soviets for their justification now. We'll have it in May, they'll get it in September, so we will hopefully knock them out. Oh no, it keeps getting pushed back daily, doesn't it? Yeah. An extra 64 days, so... An extra couple months to wait. After this Doctrine effort's done, we're going to have to leave off our, um, our thing for a while. USSR got their half. Let's have a look at these current wars. We've spent 65,000 men. Ridiculous. Finland rejects Soviet demands. You are like Stalin, we won't attack you. <coughs> well, you can only stall our advances for so long. There we go. <gasps> oh, hiccups. Now, what's next? Let's get next level computing machine. There's men at Indonesian, so it doesn't matter as much. Yeah, we'll be trying to save Finland, but... At this point we might just end up at war with the Soviets. Allies are still trying to land their troops. Let's get our fleet out, try and sink their men. No, not gonna happen. Run away, back to port. Draft reform proves successful. Excellent. We've lost our justification. I think it must it must fade off if you don't have the thing for it. Uh, the, he's talking about this state, Lapova. Assuming you're male, of course. There is resources there. Good. Defend. Alright, we got Doctor and Effort. We need to really fix this, so I think we'll just go 20 days without spending anything. Yeah, sorry dude. Not much we can do. Those... Well, the, what? Lowercase of the Soviet Union? They'll be okay. We got construction three, excellent. Let's get force rotation, make our planes a little bit more effective. All right, we don't need to make so much of those, so let's start making self-propelled heavy artillery. Although, let's crank them up a notch. Bit of extra reliability. Three's good. Couple of them. Now we need more steel again. Short on oil, short on everything. Oh, we don't need to be repairing. Uh, let's do that. And dockyards. What about Spain? Spain is 50-50, or like 60-40 for who wins in um, historical. It's not guaranteed, Lapova. 
I mean, um, who said it? Yeah, Lapova. It's not guaranteed. Still a little bit random. Alright. Still a long way off of fixing our political power. We have learnt what artillery is. Mm. Played on historical Poland did it accept German demands. Yeah, nothing is set in stone of what happens. Um, there's a small chance that they'll take the alternate history in historical mode. It's just, um, the thing that stays historical is the path which the AI takes for their focus trees is generally the same. Must be a very low chance. Yeah, I think it's about 10% or 20% or something. Germany's cancelled their lend lease, that's fine. Cool, 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 cool. Hmm. We do need some better boats. Battle cruisers would be nice. Getting level 2 heavy cruisers is a happy medium. Alright, political power is almost fixed, so let's do naval effort. Because we need the boats to help. Help? We need to help you with. the UK. My mouth is not functioning very well tonight. artillery if they put in that? Four. Okay. Alright, Denmark, if you insist. Alright, we can change another five of these over. PB uses boats instead of ships. Why is everyone so quiet? What do you mean, hello? Who's quiet? Let's just have a look at how their manpower is going. It's going alright, but we really need to do some development over there so they don't just come out of their, um, their thing immediately. Yeah, let's get that up there. Hmm, we're a bit short on options at the moment. Look at that Dutch army. We have 700,000 men in the field and 650,000 men in training. That doesn't make any sense, but okay. Hey Germany, would you like to, you know, build a fleet? What about you, Italy? No? I was about to go have a look how Africa was doing, but we've completely lost that shit. Do you reckon if we go after Greece, they'll give it to us? I think they might. I think there's a reasonable chance they would. Finland would be nice, but then we'd be bordering the Soviets, and I'm not so keen on that. So. 
Let's get claims against Greece. Now, how are we going on tank production? 30. What country should I play in Hoi 4? How much Hoi 4 have you played as... played in... um, hello? Because that's a pretty solid determining factor for suggestions. Spain's cancelling their land lease. That's fine, dude. Go for it. Yeah, it plays Finland. I actually had a really fun campaign as Finland. What do I do with them? As Finland, you should try and get... Um, well, I assume... You, assuming you have the new DLC, play as Finland, try to reunite Scandinavia. And then, yeah, not lose against the USSR. We actually have a fair bit of artillery. Oh, sweet. We got plenty to put into them. Okay, let's attach some planes onto them. Get another wing of a couple hundred planes. Make sure they're attached to them. Venezuela wants to send us some divisions and their air wings, sure. That's easy, you've played over 500 hours. Hmm. Play as Australia, see if you can beat um, Japan. That's a fun challenge. Mm. Alright, we need to copy the steel wall. Shanxi has capitulated. Call them Mr. Steel wall boom so we're gonna add self-propelled artillery wait did I not hit edit duplicate okay that is fine Steel wall, boom. Let's give them artillery. Let's give them artillery. Save. Now we can start changing them over to that from the top down. Requires 24, there's 56 available. Excellent. I have every DLC. Okay, not every DLC, but I have. I don't have the Sabaton DLC. That's fair enough. Try playing as Australia. Curious to see how you go with that. We want a large navy. We have spare dockyards. Ooh. <laughs> Let's go extra destroyers. Yeah. Oil. We need a little more oil. Out of our friends over there. And a little more steel out of those guys. We still have free things. So the reason we're building infrastructure over in the indies is to try and reduce their puppet stuff. So I don't want them getting increased. Maybe I'm going to try the same as you. Go for it, Lepova. See if you get a bit more lucky than I did. Now we can probably swap another couple of these up to steel walls. Not quite. We'll wait, that's fine. One of these will probably go up. No, you're not quite to a boom either. Alright, let's get Blitzkrieg for our lightning fast heavy tanks. Definitely zippy. And we need to upgrade our planes again. It's almost time for new planes though. 
I think we'll leave it for now. I also need to do the manpower thing. Yeah, that's it's a huge, huge difference. Alright, we're starting to produce artillery. Let's get them attached to it. Oh, we don't have enough thingo. Ah, oh, that's fine. Justification is complete. Declare war. We're not using the call ally buttons just so we don't fuck up the thing. And push. Greece is joining the allies. Greece is called Romania in. Have fun with that, Italy and Germany. Kingdom of Romania joined the Allies. Okay, so... Getting these claims on everything is making it a lot easier for us to take the land. The manpower thing is using, um... Using the templates of your subjects to milk their manpower, is what he's talking about. I think we're just going to take the long way into Africa. While we keep developing our navy. Hungary's joined the Axis. Good work. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, Greece is getting crushed. Wait, how do I find their templates? So click the recruit and deploy button, and then there's this button here. I've clicked to view the subjects, uh, uh, templates, sub templates of your subjects. Turkey should be on our next goal. Start getting their chromium. Save us importing it. Okay, so we want to justify to conquer that, 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 that. That's all the good stuff. The rest we don't really care that much about. Plenty of tungsten in Greece as well. Switch those templates up. Tell them not to guard coastlines, just ports and forts. And we'll tell them to cover Greece. Hopefully they run across the map. Perfect. So I trained their template and I'm good, yes. So you, you click the button to bring them up, you show them and you copy one of their templates and then you train that template and it will use their manpower. Great little trick from um, Together for Victory I think it was. Alright, we don't need so much aluminium. Oh, I love it when the game just deletes your front line. I like it. Yeah, it's super handy. It's good for the playing as England as well, you can pull a lot of troops out of the Raj, or playing as Japan once you've conquered China. It just makes puppets way more valuable. 
We should probably also claim this shit. And there goes Greece. Bye bye. Good the bye. Okay, now we get on the front with these dudes. Some of them at least. And we go after Bulgaria and we go after uh, the old Ottomans. Can't let them recruit in Holland. Yeah, so that's Lapova, that's why I was training local divisions and then switching the templates to the East Indies divisions. Otherwise you have to train them over in um, the Dutch East Indies and let them sail across the map. So we're kind of cheesing mechanics pretty hard on it. But I'm all for being cheesy. Okay, we need... We need more tanks, but we also need more resources to produce the tanks. Guns we're upgrading... Hmm... Let's just chuck it on fighters for now. Steel wall boom is good to go. I think I want to make a new Roman Empire. Yeah, go for it, dude. Tell me how you go. Keen to have a crack at that soon myself. We're doing good. We're doing very good. Axis is growing steadily. Now, I need to call that another episode, so thank you guys for watching, I hope you're enjoying. Like, subscribe, check out all the links below, and I'll see you in the next episode.